Hey, there we are again. Here I am again. There you are again. And we're here again. And I've used the word again a lot. But I think we'll survive. This is Does It Juggle? Number seven. A lot of questions of mankind. A lot of questions being answered these past several weeks. One thing we've answered a few over the past few weeks is that you guys... Uh, are on a roll, are on a roll. I kicked ass there for a while. I was juggling whatever you threw at me, and then you threw me, I think, three weeks in a row of uh, stuff that I could not successfully juggle. Stuff that was hard uh, to catch, stuff that was weird to throw, stuff that, uh, if I dropped it, would uh, freak me out, and uh, stuff that, quite frankly, if I manipulated a certain way, might uh, summon demons. Uh and this week, uh, there's some more weird stuff in there. So uh, I'm going to go over. I have the post here. Uh, the options were a pineapple, a couch cushion, more like a couch pillow. I showed you a picture of it. Uh, pliers, a metal frog sculpture, a small headless doll, and Lucy's uh, uh, rope pull toy. I put pictures of uh, a lot of the items up there. I mean, all the items up there, which I'm going to start doing in the future when we do this. So you had a good chance to see everything. Uh, a few of the comments I like the most is uh, Danny Mueller, of course, saying, well, I see where Buddha Fairy's body went. You're right, Danny. That is me trying to be a recycling, responsible human adult and recycling uh, Buddha Fairy's uh, body. Um, whatever. So that's what. And the frog sculpture. You guys saw that. So there you go. A lot of back and forth. Uh uh, N Natasha saying, I'm feeling that pliers would be really tricky. It's hard enough to use them normally without them flailing open or dropping them. I agree with you, Natasha. Pliers would have been tricky. It didn't get picked. Uh, also, Nigel. Nigel Herbig makes a very good point. A pineapple seems easy. How is it winning? Uh, nobody kind of went back and forth him on that, but Oh, well, there you go. So I love the back and forth that you guys uh, voted on and the, the fact that you guys are actually communicating, uh, trying to come up with what you think is going to be a, a tricky combination for me. Uh, as I said, uh, I am still a looser. That's why the sign's still up behind me, and I'm going to keep it misspelled because I'm going to own that because it's my mistake because I'm a moron, and hell, I'm a confident enough dude that I can admit when I've made a mistake. And it's a little chilly out here in Los Angeles, so... You can tell by the nipples. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we're going to review the things that won. The things that won are in order of popularity. Uh, number one was Lucy's uh, uh, rope pull toy. Somebody else actually said that it'd be fun to do the pull toy while Lucy was out here to see if she'd you know, freak out and want to jump up and tug with me. I kept her inside. I think it's probably best that she's not uh, seeing me play with this. This is the pull toy, as you can see, and hair is actually coming off it right now. It's just a basic rope thing. I don't know why we buy these. How do pet companies make money off these? I don't get it. It's literally just a rope that somebody's tied to knot, and I, like an idiot, bought it. Although I think when I bought it, it had a tennis ball around this part. Of course, that got chewed off almost instantaneously. Now it's just a coil of rope. Good luck to you people out there that make uh, pet pull toys. Whatever. Anyway, so I'm getting used to this. And the rules are, if you're new to the whole how does it juggle thing, uh, I have all these objects in the house. I'm familiar with them, but not until right now, and you guys have to trust me on this, have I ever really manipulated them in a juggling sense. I've not rehearsed any of this, but I am going to get used to each object independently first. We're starting with the Lucy pull toy. Okay, it's a rope, so obviously it kind of goes up and its, its form changes in midair. I'm going to try to gather as much up and catch it normal. I can already tell the problem might be if I catch it like that and I try to throw and it gets caught on my hand. So there's always going to be, I could try to do it like a, like a, yeah, like a ring. That's not really working either. I don't know. It, 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 it feels okay. It, it's, it's, it is what it is. Uh, the next item uh, by amount of votes was the couch cushion. I put a picture of it up because I kind of felt like I misled you guys a bit, but I did put a picture up to clarify. Uh, I didn't mean like a big couch cushion. I uh, just meant a cushion that lives on one of my outdoor couches, and this is it. Uh, this is the first time I'm manipulating it. Okay, here we go. This one's going to have to be, I think, thrown. Okay, this is going to be a problem already because it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Although I can move it, no problem. The problem with this one already, I can tell, is not the manipulating it at all. It's the fact that it takes up so much space. Look at that. Look how big it is. It takes up a lot of space. Uh, the, the one that got the most votes, we're kind of going in ascending order, 
was uh, the pineapple. And here it is right here. A pineapple that I bought for a video I'm shooting tomorrow, actually. And I figured, let me give that a shot. And uh, Nigel uh, Herbig's point of how's a pineapple winning, it seems easy. At first I thought, I think he's kind of right, because it's basically a sphere, an oblong sphere. But as you see, I'm leaving the, the this part on, the, the punk rock part, the whatever the hell that part's called. I don't know, the piña. So I don't know. As long, if it were just the bottom, I would agree with you, Nigel. If it were just the bottom. But uh, I'm going to leave the top on, so now it's oblong and weirdly balanced. Okay, if I keep it sideways, okay. If this falls, it might break. I have to buy a new one, but that's okay. I can go to the grocery store. Okay, I'm going to throw it around all weird just in case it gets weird in the juggle. See, that was bad. Okay, all right, I got all three objects. Here we go. This is our attempt. These are the objects you voted on. It is Lucy's uh, rope pull toy, a couch pillow, cushion, whatever, and one pineapple. The rules are, as stated before, I get two attempts. We do not do three attempts. You guys are nice to offer that to me. We're going to stick it at two attempts and 12 throws. Two attempts, 12 throws. A throw counts. Throwing it from one hand, catching on the other, catch. I usually count on the throw, and the catch is assumed, so the last throw I'll probably do is throw 12. Boom. If I catch that throw, that's a completion. Does that make sense to all you weirdos? Are we, are we together on this? Probably not. You want to win. We're tied up, guys. Three to three. This is it. Do I remain a loser? Or do I, I become a, a winner? I got a winner sign around here somewhere. I don't know where the hell it is. Where is it? Yeah, don't worry about it. Not so sure I'm going to need it. Here we go. Attempt number one. First thing, of course, is deciding what order I want to throw in. These two objects are relatively... I know how they're going to fly through space. This one, I do not know how. This one weighs the most. This is in the middle. The rope is the lightest. Weird combination of things. One, two. I'm not sure if I can get the two big things in my hand together. So what we're going to do, we're going to start first. Yeah. We're going to start like this. I'm going to throw pineapple, pillow, rope toy. Here we go. Attempt number one. Count off with me if you'd like. One, two, three, four, five, six... Ah, all right, we got to six, halfway there. I feel pretty good. The problem, maybe you notice, I got to duck out of camera here for a second. The problem was uh, this sucker's pretty light. The thing I threw right before it had some heft to it. And on it's, I guess, six, I must have thrown it twice because there were six throws, right? I, I threw it like six feet over there. I don't know why, I just kind of lost control of it for a second. The other two seem pretty solid. I think I'm gonna have to make the pattern larger. You may actually leave the frame of the camera. Sorry if it does. I'll try to back up as much as I can. Yeah, I think we're okay. Oh, I got a couch right behind me. Oh, I already forgot what order I went in. I'm, I'm pretty okay with the order I started. I'm gonna go right back to that order. Pineapple, pillow, uh, rope toy. Uh, slightly larger pattern maybe. Maybe arms way out like this. Here we go. Attempt number two. Whew, gotta be honest with you. Uh, I'm 50-50. I feel 50-50 right now. I was halfway there, so here we go. And, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Damn it. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen... I am Brian Howard. I'm a hard-working internet entertainer, and I remain, as I have for the past three weeks, your looser. What can I say, guys? You picked another weird combination of things. Okay, let's break it down a little bit, because I think you guys enjoy hearing what the problem was. It was yet again the rope. It wasn't the pineapple so much. The pineapple was weird. I think... Uh, Whoever said that it won't be too hard is, is kind of right. Nigel, you're kind of right. It slaps right in your hand, not a problem. The most, you know, like I juggle bowling balls, right? So as long as it slaps in your hand, you're good. The pillow was a problem. It's error. I couldn't decide. And I don't know if you guys saw in the pattern. Once I threw it like flat like that, another time I kind of winged it like that, my brain was like, how do I, I don't know how to grab and throw that one again. But the problem both times... <laughs> one that made me a looser 
was Lucy's rope toy. Uh, because I didn't want to put it in a ball. You know, that'd be cheating to tie it in a big knot. So I kept it loose. And here I am doing this. And even doing this, it's a little tricky. It's a little tricky doing this because you have to look at it constantly because it's constantly undulating in space. A little hint to you guys in the future. The ones that are hard for me to juggle are the ones whose physical properties changed during the process. So let's wrap these things up. Oh, I hope you had a good time, guys. Oh, we're now four and three. I bow to your brilliance. You're the boss. I am your willing surf whatever medieval term I, my nipples are still as you can see a wreck with excitement because i'm very exciting about being beneath you i'm going to stop talking because obviously the fact that i lost is messing with my ability to riff here you are great uh this was does it juggle you're now the winners guys you're still the masters four for you three for me three for me not six i bow and i gotta start thinking of new objects to juggle hopefully next week i'll see you guys next week and uh, thanks again, winners.